Hey everyone, uh, lucked out with a little bit more warm weather, so I'm trying to do some last minute cleanup, and I'm here with my Greenworks GPW 3000 electric pressure washer. And I got this pretty recently after my gas powered one died a few years ago, and I just kind of let the concrete and everything else get all dirty. I bought another electric one previously that was a 2000 PSI model, and it just wasn't really doing it for me. It took way too long to clean anything, so uh, I don't have time to do a full review on this 3000 PSI model, but I'm just going to do a quick demonstration in case you had the same question that I had, which is, will this thing clean my concrete, or am I going to be out there for five hours trying to get little spots off? So uh, I got the, uh, the pressure washer behind me, plugged in, ready to go, water, um, and I'm using this 15-inch uh, brush attachment, which, uh, uh, brush attachment, cleaning attachment, which has this uh, spinning head that'll give you Let's see if I can do this without hitting the camera. It'll spin around uh, as it's cleaning and makes it go a little bit faster. So I'll just do a quick demonstration so you can see how it works in case you're thinking about getting one of these too. around you yeah not spinning there we go It keeps sticking on me and I, I used this earlier in the year and I'm not sure what's making it stick but it wasn't giving, any, giving me any trouble the first time I used it and this time it is uh, maybe it's just got some dirt in there or something. There we go. Well, I guess I'm going to go troubleshoot this thing and figure out what is uh, preventing the spinning from happening because it was working fine the first time I used it. I'll be right back. Well, I took a look underneath and it was just filled up with uh, grit and sand. And I think just because the concrete was so dirty, it might have gotten some sand up inside there that was uh, slowing this thing down from spinning. It seems to be working now. I hosed off the concrete just because there was so much dirt buildup. And this isn't really on much of a grade, so the water was just, the dirty water was just kind of sitting there and the sand wasn't washing away. So I just hose this off and I will try again and see if that did the trick.
Nope, it's still sticking. I guess we'll try something else. Well, so much for doing a quick review. Uh, at least you know it's honest. Now, uh, I thought maybe the issue was going to be inside there somewhere, so I, I took this piece off using a 6 millimeter Allen wrench, and it's got these two, I don't know what you call these washers, but they're kind of like hard plastic and they're split. I guess because when I, you know, so they could pop it over. It's not a rubber washer. It's like a hard plastic one. I didn't see any grit in there. And I took off these, uh, these screws right here to look down inside to see if there's any dirt blocking the knot. I took off the ones on the back with an Allen wrench also uh, to see if there was any dirt in there that might've been blocking the flow. And there was not, didn't seem to be any grit on the inside. So maybe I got most of it off. Uh, but what I'm going to do now is uh, just put some plumber's silicone on this is a stray cat that has been hanging around the house and lately is coming into the garage anytime I leave the door open. So uh, say hi to Eclipse. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to put some silicone grease in here, uh, plumber's grease, and hopefully that's not too thick to, it shouldn't interfere with the movement, but it might help seal it and keep some of the sand out. So let's just, I don't want to walk around with silicone on my hands for the rest of the day. Let's just try that out and see if that solves the problem. And this is the stuff that's normally used on like faucets or things like that. Valves so that they don't stick. I am on well water. That's, that's uh, something that's important to mention. So the, uh, the water passing through this thing is not filtered like you know, city water would be. So it's going to have some grit in it. So it's a little bit harder on a pressure washer than if you're using clean filtered water. Or public water. But we'll see if uh, a little silicone can solve it, solve the problem. I'll put a little bit up in here as well. And I don't want to spill that. This is a liquid silicone. But I'm trying the thicker stuff. All right, a little bit more of that. here as well just for good measure it's got some washers on there but it could be that some of the sand was just getting caught in between these washers too you'll see how it goes together in just a second I'll just give those a little coating all right um, we got this guy right here and, uh, let's see two washers and then this goes through here Nope, goes through here. Just like that. And that's where I got that silicone. I might even do it a little bit around there too. I don't think that's going to... That might help keep some dirt from getting inside there. Alright, silicone on there. And some silicone on the bottom. And then I will stick that back through there. Tighten it back up. All right, one more try. Let's see if this works. And uh, if it does not, I will recommend the pressure washer, but not necessarily this 15-inch uh, cleaning attachment, at least if you have well water.
Well, that definitely seems to be working a lot better. Uh, maybe it was just some dirt that got up in there. I'm not sure. I will probably contact the company and ask them about it just in case it's a common problem. But uh, I would say that this definitely does a, a much better job on, uh, on concrete than just doing it with the hose nozzle uh, or the pressure washer nozzle and, and just spraying lines. It takes too long. Uh, and um, this is uh, significantly better than the 2000 PSI one I was using before. So once again, that's a Greenworks 3000 electric uh, GPW 3000, I think, electric pressure washer. And I think it works great. Uh, this thing, not so sure about, but if I get a response from the company, I'll, I'll put it down in the, uh, in the comments. Uh, just, just to be fair, I don't want to uh, recommend against it before I have all the information. So uh, I think it's pretty good so far. That's it. Hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching.